So here we are, boys. That's right. Four F1 foils. These are some of our favorites in the shop. And Big day. We've got a new adaptation and a new model and a couple of new monoblock stab models here. F1, in their infinite wisdom, is adding more options for us out there, which is exciting, and uh, further refining uh, some of their existing models. So it's, it's exciting stuff, and if you're in the F1 ecosystem, you got a lot of good options out there and maybe uh, a little bit confusing. So we'll cut through some of that in the future with some reviews. But for now, yeah. Jeff, what do we got there with the seven C's? We got one of my favorites, the seven C's. The seven used to be the seven ratio, but this one is an eight ratio now. So yeah, they stretch it out. A little bit more glide and speed. Uh, the seven C's though, I believe is gonna still have that lift that it's known for. Yes, sir. And get it and ride. And I feel, I'm pretty excited about this 1100 because I was on the 1200 last year for light wind, and I think this 1100 might be maybe a go-to for a lot of conditions yeah, for me to ride. Spot. So A little sleeker, yeah, profile. And there's a little and less friction on this ratio. one. It's a little bit more speed and glide, but still has good lift. Yeah, some of that top speed action. So yeah, if you get I think a little gust, you can some... still put the gas down. This is kind of what I'm really excited about, so it'll be inter interesting to see how this... Uh, how this performs compared to the seven C's, which was already a wonderful wing. Right. I mean, a really good seller for us, real stable, really smooth at speed, decent at pumping. You know, I think if you're confused about what to buy and you're, you know, maybe a, an intermediate rider or, you know, just wanting to step it up, the seven C's, you can't go wrong. And now it's the eight ratio. So a little more glide and speed. Yeah, can't go wrong there. It's no. definitely uh, one of the foils you grab if you have, have to have a one foil quiver. It, it does everything pretty darn well. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, I'm, I'm pumped about it. Cool. Also this year, they've got the Eagle X. So similar to their Eagle before, nice downwind, glidey, um, just really efficient foil. Stepped up the aspect ratio for the Eagle X. Kept the um, little winglets on it for a little extra traction there so it doesn't get too skatey on you. Um, but should be a super, super fun downwind uh, front wing. That's right. a glide machine. That's what I was going to yeah. say. Yeah, mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, I think even in the smallest sizes could be enticing for winging uh, if you want something that's real speedy and glidey, but don't want, you know, as much span as the bigger sizes. So those, those seven, 800 sizes could be pretty, pretty interesting and, and definitely have more lift than you'd expect for a foil of that size. Uh, with that aspect ratio. So. It's definitely true of the F1 that I like. Even when you go to smaller sizes, you still get pretty good lift. Yeah, it's amazing with the efficiency the they have, how easy it is to get them yeah. on foil. Yeah. So I think, I mean, some people maybe, I mean, I, I wrap my brain around, I really like the Eagle, and now the Eagle X, I think is, they're kind of, a little more speed, glide. Yep, yep, glide's the different. big thing, you know, and you, you do gain speed for sure, especially because you can step down. You know, for instance, you know, if I'm riding in 950 skate, if I go down to the Eagle, I can now ride uh, a 795 or 79, 790, excuse me, uh, from the Eagle series. And, you know, you could, or sorry, said that wrong. 950, 950. 890. Yeah. Uh, or yeah, if you're on the 850, you could jump down to the 790. Uh, and I would expect you can do the same with the Eagle X. Uh, to be clear, it's not replacing the Eagle. This is in addition to the Eagle. The Eagles are going to continue to roll forward. It's such a phenomenal wing. This is 12 uh, aspect, right? 12 yes, plus, around 12 aspect. 12 so it's it's a glider for sure. Really going to you know be most uh, most exciting for downwind riding uh, for anyone that really just wants to glide on non-breaking waves. Nice right? rollers, fast yeah, you're looking waves, just to keep moving, waves. build momentum, and and connect sets rather than rip turns on the face and breaking waves. That's more of That's a skate, skate thing, yep. or a small eagle thing, or a seven seas thing. Maybe a seven seas. Yeah, eagle X really, you know, until you get into the smallest sizes, aren't, isn't gonna be a, a wave ripper. It's more of a, a glide machine for sure. So if that's that's your flavor, uh, you really want that broad speed range and, ride, and that glide. Um, it could also be really helpful in areas with inconsistent wind you know you can build up that speed and glide through the low without having to worry about stalling out too fast that that could definitely be an eagle x kind of a situation so excited to ride these more see where they fit in and uh maybe blow some of those expectations out of the water i don't know find out well they're already a 
my favorite, one of my favorites. So it yeah. made it that much better. Who would have thought? I don't know, man. Pretty excited. Can't Pretty wait. Awesome. Can't I'm wait to get on that one. Kind of a skatey seven C's almost. But uh, so lastly, we've got our new monoblock stabs. If you're familiar with the F1 system, you know last year they moved to a one piece fuselage and stabilizer system. That just makes this taper so clean and smooth. That connection and energy transfer between what the stab does and the fuse transferring into the rest of the foil mast is that much tighter and stiffer uh, and more responsive. So everything just happens a little faster and a, a bit more predictably. And arguably last year in the monoblocks, they lost some of their adaptability in the system where you can't choose a separate fuse and stab uh, and shim them, whatnot. So you, know, you got some people that were sticking with a two-piece system, but they're expanding the monoblocks this year so that you can gain you know, those advantages, but still have a choice here with the 145 downwind uh, in the monoblock. And this is with the small fuselage. So you'll notice compared to uh, this other one here, which is the extra, extra small, it's quite a bit longer. So we got a small stab and a long fuse. What that's gonna give us is a lot of stability at speed, really great glide and pumping ability. So you can ride fast, ride these smaller eagles uh, and smaller foils, but still have you know, that, that high end performance. And we'll definitely be testing these, but uh, real familiar with what these do from the two piece system and uh, why they would do this now that they have some glide here, high aspect, especially in the smaller sizes uh, that you're gonna want. Still a, a, a longer fuse to gain that, you know, extra stability and, uh, and gain more torque so that you can ride a smaller stabilizer without losing your low end. Uh, obviously on something like, you know, a 12 aspect ratio with a huge wingspan, you're really not too concerned with ripping, you know, turns, 24 carbon. inch radius turns, yeah. uh, especially at those speeds. So Maybe having more, more stability and more, stability and more foil to push off of yeah. makes it less twitchy, more predictable, and just allows you to ride in that more power carve style, um, or just, you know, support that glide more if you're just gliding for miles. So that's what we got here. Uh, then we got the 170 downwind with the extra, extra small here. So this is a good comparison. It's a little bigger than the 140, uh, but has a shorter fuse. So now you're gonna use this on something like the seven C's uh, where you're gonna want a little bigger stabilizer for slower speeds, a bit more stability. Maybe you're not you know, ripping turns. You want a little bit more predictability in that and more something to push off of and pump off of. Uh, but then you have a slightly shorter fuse here just to give you a tighter turning radius uh, and, and a bit more responsiveness at those slower speeds where you want the board to come about a little faster and maybe you can make some of those tighter, snappier turns because you're not going Mach 10. So lots of good options this year. There's more than just this, so definitely take, an, uh, take a look into the F1 catalog of stabilizers and they do have suggested stabilizers in the plane kits for each one, so it's really you know, a mindless decision. They already have them paired up for what works best. So unless you're kind of off the charts in some kind of weird way, uh, usually the best place to start is what's suggested in the plane kits. And uh, But as always, we're gonna get on and ride this stuff and then we can help you out. Totally. I'm trying to help you yeah. make decisions on your on your choices. Cause you know, it is good to have more options, but then it can kind of muddy the waters too for, for some people yeah. to know what to ride and what's best. So we'll, we'll get out, we'll ride it and then yeah. give us a call, we'll help you out. And, you know, what your, your riding style is, what you like, so. Gonna hook it up to my yeah, man. video game, play That's some good. Minecraft. There you go, little <laughs> weapons there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. I'm a fan of F1. Good to see their new products coming out. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. finish is great. Everything feels very stiff, solid. Lots of high modulus carbon in our hands right now, so. Exciting yeah. times, yeah. and stay tuned for some reviews here in the near future. They come with cases, they're really nice. I really want to talk about this graphic. Look at that sick eagle claw. Mm.